likely to shed some light are two 18-year-olds who definitely are planning to vote on Thursday. For Remain here in the studio is Erin McCauley and for Lee from our Edinburgh studio, Duncan Wilson. Welcome to both of you this evening. Erin, why do you think it is that young people are far less likely to vote in this referendum? Well, I think that's untrue because if you look at the statistics, um, if you look at the recent registration for a uh, to register to vote, we're championing that. Young people are championing um, registering to vote. So I actually think that there might there be quite a good turnout for young people for this. Um, do you do you feel like your friends, the people you talk to, are very engaged in this campaign? I think there's definitely a different sort of atmosphere compared to the independence referendum, um, but. I feel that in Scotland, but as a UK, widely, I think young people are definitely going to turn out and vote um, and champion this. Because it is our future, it's, it's, it's us that's going to be affected by this the most. It's my generation, it's the generations below us. This is a massive, massive vote because it's us that are going to have to deal with the consequences. Duncan, have you found much excitement among your friends about this particular poll? Not particularly any any excitement that there has been. It's it's been immediate friends uh, from my quite active campaign in the, in the in the Leave campaign. But I think if there is any disengagement uh, with young people, and this goes for for a range of of, of ages and in different backgrounds, it's that we don't really have a firm connection with with the European Union. Hardly anybody can name their European member of Parliament, and many people feel that it, it doesn't actually affect them. That's one of the worrying things about this campaign is that the European Union has a tremendous effect on the people of this country and they don't even realise it in some instances. Well Erin you are engaged, you're a student, what, what is it that makes you want to vote for Britain to stay? I think there's a variety of different reasons um, to vote first of all as a young woman, I think it's important to remain, um, the European Union will give me the protection as a woman at work for equal pay that's not guaranteed if I come out of the European Union, second of all um, in a world that needs to tackle climate change and terrorism, we are so much stronger and safer as being part of the European Union. Um, there's so much that the European Union gives us and it's important, especially for young people, that our working rights are protected and the European Union will guarantee that. Well, Duncan, stronger and safer together? No. Um, working, workers' rights, women's rights can be decided on a national level. And as for climate change and global terrorism, those can be decided on an intergovernmental level. We do not need to surrender sovereignty to a supranational body, which takes increasingly larger proportions of control over our country. You know, it's just in 2015 there, we were living in the, the, the anniversary of the Magna Carta signed in, in 1215. And it was based on the principle that laws should not be set nor taxes raised except by our own elected representatives. And we have surrendered that power to the, to the European Union. And, and as for equality and women's rights, there are five main presidents of the European Union. All of them are men, all of them are white, and all of them are middle-aged. We can promote gender uh, gender diversity in this country. We do not need the European Union to do that for us. We don't need the European Union for gender diversity. Yeah, we definitely do need the European Union for gender diversity. And in regards to unelected, uh, uh, European Union being unelected and undemocra undemocratic, Britain is undemocratic. We have a House of Lords that is undemocratic. We have a monarchy that is undemocratic. So to say that we don't have elected representatives in a European Union is just... Nonsense. And do we, you we, do you have confidence that a UK government would protect all no, the rights? No, I don't. That I don't have. I don't have confidence that they, the UK government want to scrap young people's working rights and working rights in general. We have been fighting to protect the trade union bill. I don't feel confident to come out of the European Union that any of my rights are going to be protected if, under a Tory government. Very briefly, Duncan. If, if if you want to protect your rights from this government, vote them out. I'm afraid you cannot do that with the European Union. They are unelected. They may be appointed by elected representatives, but the European Commission and the European Council are wholly unelected, and I think we should vote leave on June 23rd to take back control of our country's destiny. All right, I'm afraid we're out of time. There we must leave it. Duncan Wilson, Erin McCauley, thanks very much.